тренажеров, как, например, Каспер рассказывал вам, что есть марсоход Curiosity, который ползает по Марсу, и вы можете показывать мышкой, куда ему ползти, он будет показывать вам красивые фотографии. Все это работает в веб-браузере, вы можете попробовать Curiosity, Unity 3D, и он сразу вам покажет страничку NASA, на которой все это расположено. А, а сейчас в нашей маршрутке проветрилось немножко. А, у нас потом во время демонстрации будет немножко интима. Мы выключим свет, будет темно, потому что иначе вы не увидите темную тему Unity. Потому что это Unity Pro, и у нее черная тема, профессиональная черная тема. И бесплатная версия, она светлая. Зеленые буквы. Зеленые буквы только за отдельную плату. А, начнет рассказ Томик, наш замечательный инженер из Дании, из Копенгагена. My name is Tomek. Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm one of the two Jules from Copenhagen, but originally I come from Poland. Um, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna tell you a few words about uh, test tools that I made along with Dimitri and uh, with he, uh, some help from many other people. Um, but before jumping into the tools themselves, uh, I want to talk, tell you a few words about uh, why would you even want to test uh, in general For those of you who didn't have uh, contact with testing before, um, testing is in general about finding bugs. Uh, if to automate, like you, you would like to automate tests uh, in order to find the bugs easier and earlier. Uh, I bet those of you who have uh, been testing before would give you many other reasons, but in the end, it's all about finding bugs. Uh, why would you want to find bugs? Uh, the cost of fixing a bug rises exponentially along with the development process. So the earlier you find the bug, uh, the lower cost uh, it will be to fix it. And it's, that's a pretty common uh, graph. Uh, as you see, the cost rises really uh, fast uh, along with the development process. You really want to do it as early as possible, and uh, automation is uh, exactly what you need to do that. Because with automation, you get the feedback as uh, really the earliest as possible, without uh, having the software uh, being the further stages of, of, of development. Uh, what about testing games, testing in game development? Uh, how is it different from testing uh, other software? Well, I have to tell you that it's not really different. It's, it's exactly like testing other software. In the end, games is just software, but it's a kind of special software. It contains many uh, different media. It contains uh, graphics, contains videos, contains network communication. I think almost all of the different medias you can touch uh, from software. Uh, A yes. uh, few words uh, why we decided to create the tools. Uh, our, I think our initial idea was to uh, have a public test suit. This is something we, we are still working on. Uh, the idea is to have uh, tests for Unity available in public, so every developer, every, every Unity developer will be able to get the tests, run them, test their own games. Uh, and submit their own tests and uh, contribute to the to the test suit that will be available. But that is uh, coming up soon, uh, so be prepared. Uh, <laughs> uh, in order to do that, we, we did a research on how, how people test Unity games at the moment. Uh, it came out that there aren't that many frameworks. Actually, there is one uh, big bigger framework available on the asset store which isn't currently developed anymore and uh, any other tools are not really uh, not really uh, mature enough to, to be used in, uh, in serious uh, companies uh, well we've heard also from many people that they, they really want to test but they just don't know how or they have no capabilities to do that because there are, there are no tools for doing that in Unity Um, also, test is what we really like, and we want to people. Uh, we want people to know how to do that and to actually do it. Um, yes, the team uh, I'm a part of. Uh, we really like, uh, really like 
testing. <laughs> yes, we really love clean code, we really love tests, we really love automation, and uh, I, have to, I want to tell you a few words how uh, we do the tools, uh, how we develop the tools. We really uh, have high test coverage for our internal tools, and uh, the reasons for that is that the architecture we use uh, grows really uh, really fast, it expands, it needs to be extensible, the new features uh, are coming and we really constantly change many things, we need to be sure that we break nothing. And uh, from that love, uh, Unity Test Tools came. Um, how is it designed? Uh, we decided to release it uh, through the asset store. The, the reason for that was that we didn't want to be bound with Unity recycle. That would slow us down and uh, the feedback <coughs> for changes would be much slower. Uh, at the moment you can get it from the asset store. It's uh, open code, you can see, you can change it. Uh, the license says that you can do whatever you want with it. You can even sell it. Uh, but you would really good marketing to sell or something that's um, Yes, it has documentation in English and Japanese uh, for Asian enthusiasts. And it's compatible with uh, Unity 4 2.0. Um, so, what does it consist of? Uh, there are three main components. First of all is the unit test runner, which is basically unit tests that you can uh, execute from the editor. Then it's the assertion component. Uh, if you're a programmer, you pr you're probably familiar with assertions, uh, low-level assertions to assert the code. The concept is similar, but we'll get into details a bit later. And then there's the integration test runner. Integration tests are higher-level tests for testing your games and game content. Uh, moving on. Uh, as you've probably heard, uh, an image is worth more than a thousand words, so uh, a live presentation is probably worth a thousand words per second time frame rate. <laughs> so uh, Dima will do live demo. Uh, so what you see here is uh, unit tests, the unit test runner. Yes. <laughs> Almost. Yes, um, if you ever use unit tests before, this is exactly what it does. It runs unit tests and you, <coughs> it reports the results here. Um, unit tests uh, test single, uh, single parts of code. There are small chunks of code that test single functionality. Um, and they're not really meant to test uh, the game content. They're meant to test your game logic. Just those are a few exemplary tests. Um, we can create a new one. Yes, the test runner based on an unit. If you ever used an unit before, uh, you will know. Uh, <laughs> it's Mac. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm not typing because it's, it's Mac. <laughs> And it's Finnish Mac, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mac with Windows, so it's Finnish Mac. So we'll have to copy paste uh, everything. Yes. To, to create a unit is, is as easy as marking a method with this uh, attribute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's not that easy. Uh, believe me or not, but programming uh, Finnish Mac with Windows in dark is not the easiest task <laughs> ever. <laughs> Uh, I know where it is. Go back to the editor, you will see the test uh, available in the list. It's compiling. After it recompiles, and there it is, you can run it and it works. It works, and it's successful <laughs> because it has nothing inside. <laughs> uh, we're not going to go into details uh, about how to unit test, but. Uh, and it's possible now from the editor. Uh, a big benefit from about that is that you can actually uh, use many features that you wouldn't be able to use if it wasn't integrated in the editor. Um, but I guess uh, we'll move on to the next uh, feature, which is the assertion component. Um, 
Sure. Uh, so now we have a, an empty scene here. Uh, you see that beautiful assets are from the new set of uh, even the default uh, standard assets that will be in next version, but they are also all, all already available at the asset store. I have a, a big ball, so steel, steel big ball, and uh, some some plate and some floor. And uh, if I run the scene, then it falls. It happens. Uh, so, uh, do you know Unity? Who, uh, who knows Unity? What is this? What's missing? Why are you falling through the plate? Collider. Collider. Exactly. We are missing the collider. Now it works. Big collider. Uh, it's box collider. Uh, it's not it's assuming it's your intention. To yes. Yes, if I intend it to work like that. So we, we want to make some game uh, where the, the ball should stay uh, on top of the plate. But for some reason mm -hmm. it might be uh, uh, running from the plate with uh, constant force on it. So maybe uh, just, just one sentence about uh, assertions themselves. If you're not familiar with the concept of an assertion, an assertion is, uh, is a way to check an invariant. Uh, I think that you assume that should never change or uh, something that should be always true. For example, um, for a division operation, uh, an invariant would be that you don't want uh, they call the, the part below the, the denominator. Yeah, the denominator is never zero. Uh, if, if it's zero, it means something is really bad. So <laughs> that's why where you want to use the assertion to be always sure that it's never uh, something that you don't uh, expect. So we expect the ball to be on top of the plate, but uh, shit happens and uh, it goes somewhere. You won't play the game at this point. And we want to, to see uh, if it stays uh, on top of the plate. And we want to uh, post the edit, for example, if uh, it drops from this plate. For this purpose, I will create uh, an object containing an assertion. Uh, so everything in Unity, if it's not uh, displayed, if it's on the scene, it's uh, a game object. But this one uh, is an assertion. If it's not rendered, uh, it just exists somewhere. But that's not the point. We add uh, a component that is inside the uh, package. And Tomic will tell you more uh, while I'm still tuning this uh, this guy. So, uh, the, uh, what is the, what should we check to make sure that this ball stays on top of this plate? Speed is its position. Yeah. Its position, yes. Uh, I think the thing is that we can do it in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. um, but the most reasonable way in this case would be to make sure that the ball, the ball uh, tran transform uh, dot y variable is always higher than the position of the plane. Um, yes, you see that the, where the coordinate uh, vectors are uh, going from, this is the, uh, the final point of the object. And we want to make sure that it's uh, higher than the final point of the plane. And for this purpose, I'm creating an assertion that will be running on update. Can you describe the, the, the component? <laughs> yeah, so the component um, consists of uh, comparers. Compar a, com a comparer is used to compare different types of values. This is something that is uh, easy to extend, modify, and, and uh, make it for your own uh, usage. And then the, 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 the field on the right you see is uh, where you set when the assertion should be checked. In this case, we want to check it in every update method. Mm. Below it, you set uh, the game object you want to verify, and the, uh, and the field from the game object, which is, which is actually resolved uh, with reflection, and uh, it will work even with your own, own custom scripts. In this case, it will get the transform component and uh, dot position dot y and compare it with, uh, as you are setting now, uh, the same transform dot position dot y uh, value, but from the, from the platform. Um, 
And if you run it now? Uh, we ask the editor to pause uh, on any error that will occur. Because in the if, the, if, the if the assertion fails, it will throw an exception. Okay. We can also compare it to constant values. Um, yeah. So it's very easy to set an assertion. It's a kind of visual tool, uh, so you don't need to be a programmer. Uh, in order to do that, you don't need to write your own scripts. Uh, it's fast and extensible. Um, so we see the situation where assertion fail, fails, and we can uh, fine-tune the assertion to make it work with uh, uh, any objects uh, in, uh, in our, on our scene. Uh, so at this point, uh, I think that you need slides back. Uh, not necessarily, but you can just move on to the next slide. Okay. Uh, So that was the assertion component. Um, there's also assertion explorer that uh, makes it easy for you to manage all the assertions on the scene, but uh, you can check it out yourself later, <laughs> since we're running uh, short on time. And the next big thing is uh, the integration test runner. Uh, uh, the integration test, integration test based uh, on the scene. It's a regular Unity scene, and uh, you place the scenes as you place the game objects, uh, as you would place the game objects normally. Um, to manage that, you have this uh, integration test runner that uh, kind of controls the the tests and manages them, and re you can see the results there. Uh, Tim, if you could show it, uh, yes, to the people. Yes, we can show you the uh, we can show you the scenery where we can uh, uh, run the example scene, or we can add uh, the test to this scene. I think that creating a test here might be like a imagine if you had the game. Uh, yes, 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 at the test scene. It's, it's where you would the, where, where uh, you would want that ball never to fall down, and you want to automate it to make sure it's it, 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 it's easy to check it and. Uh, Okay, so yeah. we, we can uh, uh, use the Unity Test Tools menu and uh, open Integration Test uh, Runner. And it has uh, the magic plus button which creates our first uh, integration test. Mm -hmm. uh, and this test checks that uh, ball no. never, <laughs> never <laughs> is that. <laughs> but okay, no, never no. Uh, in our case would be uh, for, uh, if not falling for two seconds. It's still new test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <shit. Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Except, uh, especially during the live demos. <laughs> and this this special test will be driven by the assertion that we have created. And we press this magical button, succeed on assertion, and we set the time out for five seconds. Uh, and it's until it's What? And I, I will drag the ball. Uh, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> everything you do when the uh, when the scene is running is not uh, save. save. <laughs> so with the, with the heavy heart, I press the button. Gets uh, <laughs> lots of uh, lots of little demo issues. But um, we open the scene. Просто в режиме проигрывания я его Or just skip to the example uh, that is shipped with the package. Okay, we'll try uh, the example. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, we ship the examples that uh, that are already included in the uh, in the package, and uh, we we'll hope that everything works. Yes, uh, of course it does. Uh, Explain what happened. So what what happened here is that uh, in the hierarchy view on the to the left you see uh, one, two, three, eight different tests. And uh, 
each of them it's, it's uh, iterate ah, sorry they are executed one after another and uh, in order to determine the result uh, uh, you need to uh, ex you need to call a method that is uh, provided with the framework which is uh, which is going to determine if the test passed or failed it's kind of the same concept with uh, unit tests um, that's <laughs> that's a very basic concept and uh, okay when uh, when we uh, we show we try to show you the first demo it failed it's it's a bad luck but here you have you see that the scene is almost empty we have some uh, predefined uh, objects but uh, the other object that you have seen the falling balls uh, some other stuff they don't show up uh, they are disabled when the tests are not running so when we select some tests the objects that are uh, uh, running in this test that are uh, representing the test are hidden and they are shown when you select the test and when we are running the tests uh, the test runner uh, finds all the objects that are considered to be the tests and uh, when the test is running the, it uh, enables all the objects that are in the hierarchy it makes some as, uh, calculates the assertions and when the test is finished it uh, disables them again uh, proceeds to the next test and enables the objects that are uh, there so we can use one scene to run multiple tests with multiple objects within different states and that's what you have seen you have seen somehow isolated Yes, they are isolated somehow because uh, there are still objects that are shared between the, the tests. For example, these objects are shared between the tests. The red one means that something, uh, if something intersects this uh, object, something bad happens. Uh, Unity doesn't crash, but uh, the test fails. And if object intersects with the, the green plate, then test is considered to be passed, and uh, test runner proceeds to the next. Uh, Okay. Maybe we should show one more example uh, that based on our uh, yeah. Angry Bots demo. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's the, the most exciting example. Uh, don't worry, no developers got hurt while, while developing this stuff. <laughs> no, no, I can prove. I can prove, but you have to believe me. So we have uh, three tests uh, in this uh, demo. One uh, represents that, play, uh, that uh, the robot should not attack this uh, beautiful guy uh, when he is not in range. Uh, and so no one gets hurt. Uh, and the test is called Spider Sleeps when player is not in range. We run this test. And actually this test uh, checks that uh, robot has not, uh, this, is, this test is not, or this is driven by the socials. We have one, okay. Uh, this test is uh, driven by uh, assertion. We check that uh, the robot has some special script that uh, uh, makes it aggressive. So if the script is disabled, the robot is not aggressive, it's sleeping. And this test checks it. And when the player is in range, actually we check that the, this angry robot, it passes this green line, and that's how it, it tries to attack the player. So what do you think will it attack him? Yeah. Yeah, I vote for the robot. Yeah, robots win. You see, it has crossed the, the line, and that's it. Can you make it fail? Hmm? Can you make it fail? What happened to the fail? Uh, what happened to the fail? We can, uh, we can remove. Uh, actually, doing this on demos is not a good uh, practice. Just move the green box. Move the green box. Okay. So it's about making the robot less aggressive. But it's, it is so aggressive that it might still attack the player if, if, if it's... <laughs> okay, the player will f fall down, so don't worry. <laughs> yes, the robot uh, is not waking up, but the player is, uh, is falling into eternity. Time out is 10 seconds in this case, and the test is failed by time out because uh, the robot never wakes up. Uh, time out is too big, we can decrease it. And the, 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 the final thing, the, this angry beast uh, got close to the player. And in this case, something bad happens. Uh, but, but we have lots of players, so we don't care about it. So the player should get hurt. And this test is also driven by assertions, because we check for the player health at some point. And the health has definitely decreased after this uh, huge explosion. Uh, 
what was the track? Um, okay, so th that was the brief uh, uh, functionality. You can find the asset. Uh, you can find the tools. Yes. Uh, you can find the tools on the asset store. You can download them for free. Um, there is a PDF with examples. All the examples you've seen there are included in the project. Uh, so check it out yourself if you're into testing. Then uh, I hope you you will find it useful. If you're not into testing, then you should try it out because. Uh, so a really nice skill to be able to test your uh, games and uh, we hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you. I think if you want to try the tools and you actually use them and you have feedback, you can actually give feedback directly on the app store. And it's actually those two guys that will be sitting there responding to <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's easy, but our developers are very accessible. So, um, you actually need to have Unity installed in your machine in order to be able to import this package. But, but Unity is also free. So. <laughs> if you have questions, you can ask, or we can proceed to the next presentation. Yes, one guy. Можно на русском, да? Ну, если он не русский. А есть автоматическая возможность отключать assertion компоненты? Ну, чтобы uh, вот, допустим, в дебаге, допустим, так, а в релизе оно автоматически uh, посмотрел. When the, the game of the globes, uh, but however we plan to uh, do some integration with Unity, and we we hope to uh, make this whole process better and smoother, and as it as it should be less less painful for uh, these builds in these builds. I hope that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can elaborate just a bit because we are aware that one thing is disabling the assertion component, another thing is is the size of your game application, especially in mobile devices. So, one of the intentions about getting the systems out fast, I mean, this is actually something we started working on in September last year, was that we wanted to get feedback really, really fast. Um, so, uh, we have gotten that, and it is on our list. I mean, it, yeah, it's something that uh, we will However, you can always uh, create your own build pipeline and uh, a, build, a script that will build your project and remove it from there. So, so it is, it is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. uh, I just wanted to make sure I got this right. So you're saying that uh, the code itself will actually be there in the list build, but it will not uh, make any impact on performance. Is that right? We're talking about the assertion component. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the class will be in the uh, library there, but uh, the assertion component is uh, designed the way it will detach itself if it sees that it's not a debug build. Mm. I mean, I, I'm I'm really new to Unity, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to figure out if this will make any impact on file size of the. Uh, there will be a slight uh, impact uh, if you build your project with default project builder. Mm -hmm. But there is a, you can also write your own scripts and uh, build your code from scripts where you can uh, remove the code before actually building the project and in an automated way. So with a little bit of effort you can, uh, you can make it... Uh, special build for so this need, because yes. special mm -hmm. build for production. Yes, exactly. And I guess if you're a bigger uh, company you have your own build pipeline uh, set up anyway, so I don't think it should be a big problem to, for you to implement it. Can you implement one for your system? For every company that uses, I can implement it. <laughs> yes, if you have something valuable, then you can always put it on the asset store, set some small price tag, and make money on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the uh, rich platform? Uh, 
or you mean like uh, oh no just uh, this studio uh, I, i'm asking about uh, this studio this well that's all you need the editor you can program it you can program your own controls uh, extend the editor uh, in unity no he means studio itself on which language which, uh, language? which language it's language which platform uh, oh okay i see sorry uh, well, I used uh, C Sharp. We use C Sharp. Uh, that's our main language uh, in the company, uh, uh, in the team actually. And uh, I personally prefer Visual Studio, but sometimes uh, we also need to use MonoDevelop because uh, it's something we ship uh, Unity with, and uh, you need to make sure it works with MonoDevelop as well. Uh, maybe one more thing I didn't mention. Uh, you can build and run integration tests in, in players on your platforms. Not every platform is supported yet, but we're working on this, and uh, and uh, it is possible to, to test your games, uh, to run your tests in target platforms. Uh, how many uh, graphics technologies can use Unity? Can use Unity? And Unity test tools. Uh, what do you mean by graphics uh, technologies? Two uh, D, three D graphic uh, on uh, different uh, platforms. Uh, the tools are independent from the the the, uh, the rest of the game, so we can test both two D games and three D games. And two uh, D games are available on every platform. Starting from Unity four point three. No, it, it use, uh, for example, uh, on Windows, it use DirectX components or... Uh, no, but that's not a part of the test tools. So, uh, Unity, the engine, like the main product, uh, uses different uh, graphics libraries depending on the platform you're running it on. So it can run DirectX 9, DirectX 11, OpenGL, OpenGLDS, you name it. It depends on what platform you are running to run different... I mean, it will emulate your graphics with different. Uh, but I mean, that that is the whole idea <coughs> with Unity and also with the test tools that if you are doing cross-platform development, then a Unity feature will work on the platforms, and that that includes uh, the Unity test tools. I mean, right now, <coughs> it's we are still developing this. We are not supporting every platform today, um, but. We're highly reactive to yeah. feedback, so if you have any suggestions or uh, stuff you would like to see in the tools, uh, please let us know through the forums or uh, in other way. You name it, we do it. Go get the <laughs> but that's what I mean. Go get the tools, uh, use the forums, use the assets, so use the channels that we have, and uh, I guarantee you that we are the guys who will be talking to this. Uh, it's very, very easy in to the end, to we In the end, we make it for you, so yes. we're open for feedback. But we are doing it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. One, One more sure. question yes. here. It's not related to Unity test tools, sure. it's a little bit political question, but why? Uh, Unity outsteps at Sikun. <laughs> <laughs> Why what? Why uh, Unity outsteps at outsteps at Sikun? Why Unity outsteps at Sikun? Yep. Uh, because we can find good people here. As I said, the whole premise for Unity right straight from day one has been if we can find good people somewhere, then uh, we will hire them there. Um, so. Starting an office in, in Odessa happened half a year after I joined Unity. Uh, so the QA manager had uh, had previously worked with a team in Ukraine and had really good experiences with that. So we went here, uh, we saw the signal office, we uh, went around and saw the city and we were very happy. Um, we talked to a few guys, uh, we were really, really impressed and then we just thought, why not? Why should we be here? Uh, and I actually want to say, we are doing outsourcing. The guys that are working from Odessa are as much as part of the company and everything we do as everyone else. No one is working on temporary contracts or anything. Uh, so in, in that sense, it doesn't matter if you work from Copenhagen or Finland or Ukraine or United States. Um, 
why Cyclum? I mean, uh, it's a good company. Uh, they could set up the facilities we need. And uh, we were really impressed with the people that we, we talked to them that we got. And we have been very, very happy with what we have been doing so far. So uh, I think, I mean, why why do this uh, any place? That That's just <coughs> how we've done from day one, uh, everywhere. Yeah. It's pretty tough to find uh, like developers and testers that are truly professionals, and Sikum are very good at finding them for us. So uh, we have, I mean, the people that we have that are working on the stuff that we're doing now, cutting edge stuff, sometimes and very often things no one did before us, are the best about them. So. Um, Wherever we can find those people. Do you have plans to extend the desk as well? Let's uh, let's take that after the meeting. There will be time to talk. I think we should move on to the presentation. But uh, yes. Uh, yes, just one more question. Does Unity provide to developers any kind of play tests? Play tests? Yes. You mean to, 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 exam, to explore the play behavior during beta testing or something like that? Uh, working uh, uh, while the client works with UI test behavior of um, a uh, player, <coughs> not developing testing, just play tests. Does he provide any components of play testing? Uh, no, no, we don't. So, uh, so the only uh, the only tools and the only things we provide for content testing today is is the Unity test tools. I know that that in, in the in, in game dev, play testing is, is, is also a, a big thing, but we are not really a game development company, so 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 that, that kind of testing is not something we do. Uh, I showed you a slide with uh, some of the games that we have been part of publishing. We are not testing those games. We are not the QA team is not involved with that. No, uh, any kind of tools for the play testing. Yes, we don't provide that. Okay. Yes. That's true. The asset store. Go to the asset store. The asset store, the good thing about that is that it allows everyone to make something cool, something that should be out there. So uh, go to the asset store and look for, uh, search for play testing. Then uh, who knows what you find. The unit is a very extensible uh, software. You can easily write your own scripts, uh, your own like small editor parts and sell them on the asset store and there are people who have uh, made things like uh, gathering metrics uh, in games so you can see like where your players are going and where they get stuck and things like that and if there's something you're missing you can probably write it yourself so. but you can find that at the asset store uh, yes also all right we, we are done with questions for the unity test tools and now uh, Zachary and Jan, uh, Zachary is from Finland and Jan is from our desk office, will show you the magic of uh, automated performance uh, testing. Hours. No one because fell asleep and we uh, went after the conference at great after party. So we had lots of live communication and lots of uh, good people that came to see us and to hear uh, something new about Unity as the company and as a product. Thank you.